Around 500 million years ago, the majority of Victoria was little more than a deep sea. The coastline could be found in far western Victoria, around this line. Even though times have changed, the sands left behind would prove to pay a little over 600 million Australian dollars due to them containing precious heavy mineral sands. This video focuses on the geology behind the extremely profitable Douglas Mine, which mined these sands over a period of 8 years from between 2004 to 2012. This is also a story of responsible mining, as the land where the Douglas Mine operated is scheduled to be fully rehabilitated by 2025 by the Iluka Mining Company, showing the world that mining in Australia can be done responsibly and respectfully. The heavy mineral sands that were mined here consisted of ilmenite, leucozene, rutile and zircon. The first three minerals are titanium oxide bearing, which play a role in many different industries. These minerals have a wide range of applications, including paint, sunscreen, pigments, welding and use in the ceramic and glass industry to name just a few. Zircon is a nesosilicate mineral. It also plays a role in many different industries and is a beautiful gemstone in and of itself, similar to how rutile is. These minerals were eroded from rocks on land, and were eventually carried out to the sea by ancient rivers that would have flowed from west to east. Once there, waves and tidal actions influence where these minerals will be deposited. Heavy mineral grains are concentrated by their size and density as a result of the constant churning and washing effect of the waves. Lighter and less dense particles are carried further offshore or back onto the beach, while heavier minerals settle out of the water column more quickly and accumulate in certain areas, forming placer deposits. These placer deposits tend to be reconcentrated over time, normally as a result of changing sea levels, storms and wave actions, which work to enhance the richness of them. And that's exactly what happened in Western Victoria, before much of the land had become uplifted by multiple tectonic events, the beach was located in this area. And the rocks supplying these minerals were volcanic in their origin, consisting of the weathering and erosion of ultramafic and mafic igneous rocks, like basalt. So how concentrated was this placer deposit that the Douglas mine was digging up? Well, it was 617,818,000 Australian dollars worth of concentrated goodness. They removed the overburden and any soil that lay atop these heavy mineral sands and they stored it to rehabilitate the land post mining. Big props to them for doing that by the way. After they had the sands exposed, they simply dug it up and separated it similar to how a gold mine would separate gold from lighter materials. The result was a concentration of the aforementioned heavy black sands of ilmenite, leucozene, rutile and zircon. This was a major deposit, and after mining was completed, work was done to fully restore the land back to its original setting. The original topsoil that was dug when this mine first commenced was placed back on top of the mined land and cover crops were grown to re-enrich the fertility of the soil. This work is still ongoing and will be completed around 2025. If you look on Google Satellite, you can still see the open pits where this ancient sand was extracted. Very cool stuff, I applaud this mine for their rehabilitation efforts, but I'd love to see the area before it gets covered up. When we look at the discovered locations of heavy mineral sands on Geovic, we get to see this very cool line which appears to be the limits of the ancient beach that existed here some 500 million years ago. But we also have that one oddity, existing in the area northeast of St Arnold, which could be a placer deposit that was deposited after sea level changes, or it could be the next area that became the new coastline after the Pyrenees got uplifted 480 million years ago, following a subduction event. Either way, it tickles my imagination. Especially because we have a very small deposit found just west of Kerrang. Could there be more mineral sands beneath the Ordovician strata stretching south to southwest of here? I suppose time will tell. I hope this intrigued you as much as it intrigued me. And as always, thanks for watching.